Hi, I'm Bradley with Blue Cord, and I want to give an update on the brand new KC220 stump grinder. Now, as you can see, it's still on the pallet. I'm not allowed to lift anything more than 10 pounds for the next five weeks after my two surgeries within five days at the VA hospital. Um, we have one of our channel followers going to visit us today. He's going to help me get this thing off of here. Down onto the ground, we're going to get it hooked up, and... Uh, I'll do a more in-depth video and review and walk around of this awesome new attachment. Sidetracked. Battery looks good. Okay. No, 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 let's, you want to try let's do it. Just try to pick it up and just carefully roll it onto the blanket. I think. I don't want to scratch it up. Nah, no, you'd be alright. No, look at that. The heathen's kind of sitting there on its own. See that? You work there smarter, not harder. Absolutely. You want to just drop it right back? Yeah, I just put it right down. This is exactly what I wanted to do, but I didn't want my doctor yelling at me. Yeah, that would have... It's very well balanced. Very well balanced. See that, folks? This thing's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, now we go ahead and try to mount it. Let's, okay. let's, uh, let's see if we can go ahead and mount Show this thing. Show me how that works. Right now, if it's too cold and the battery voltage drops just a little bit in here, it won't let you start it. There's a little voltage protection system in the circuitry, and uh, I'm not even gonna try it. So you have a disconnect switch. You flip that, it disconnects the battery from the whole system. You leave that off for a few seconds, turn it back on, and then let it start. Ugh. It's one of those things, you know, a new Ventrac car, it's like, why won't my machine start? That, that's not special, that's just, it, that's the way it comes. That's right. that's it. <clears throat>
this I thought was great. This uh, the pusher, oh, the pusher. Is, is awesome. That's fantastic. I, I love the plow. That's that's one thing that was very surprised. I had no idea that Ventrek had done this. They sent me the the teaser video early last week. I think they finally put a teaser video together. When I saw that, I'm talking to him while I'm in recovery. <laughs> you know, I said, "This is pretty cool, guys." You know, sitting in my hospital bed, and I said, "This is all right." Um, I said, "Send me all the info you got on it," and. Uh, they sent me some uh, photos originally back in I don't know, September, October, and it looked very similar to this, but I couldn't see anything up closer in detail. But you know, the basic concept, the size, shape, and everything else was the same. What they did say is that during the research and development, they started with serial number one, this is serial number 14, by the time they realized all the things that they wanted to improve, reinforce, heavier gauge materials, they nearly doubled the weight between the first iteration and number 14. So this is pretty cool. I have no idea what the wheel weighs. Um, again, you know, the KC-180 is an 18-inch wheel. Now that has eight sets of cutters. I believe they said this has nine. Okay. So let's find out. Let's find out. I want to know. I want to know. So what I'm going to do, we're going to mark one here. Is this completely hooked up now, or is there more you have to do to that to hook it up? I have to hook up the PTO. The PTO. Yep. So we could do that here in a minute. Right now I have it raised. I probably could still get in there. So let's see. Let's, let's go ahead and, and mark this. You should always have a Sharpie on you and a pencil. That's just a part of the uniform anymore <laughs> now. So, okay, we got one. No. Nope. Boy, that's tight. Yes, it is. Is it supposed to be that tight? Uh, I don't know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 Nope. I don't understand why. It's tight. See if that pulley is moving over there when I when I spin this. Over here. Yeah, the, yeah, pull, the pulley is moving. So this whole assembly is doesn't moving. Doesn't make any sense. I don't think there's a break on this. Again, I don't know anything. <laughs> I know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Tension's okay. All right. Um, well, is this still? You have to unbolt it to, to even look underneath here, right? This doesn't unclip and roll up or anything. Okay. See this, if there's anything in the way or to operate this. And I noticed this as soon as I as I uncreated it. You pull that. You rotate okay. that. That's just kind of like a little parking a parking skid, just to keep the thing level for when you drop it. Okay. All right. Well, um... start using. You see I switched them all out on here. 
No, they're using exactly the same kind. The we old one wasn't vibrating out. They were using button head Allens. Oh. And I was having trouble with them. So I changed them. Uh, now let's retighten that. Shouldn't have touched that. Take two. I'm going to leave the guard off. <laughs> so, I don't, so I don't have to do this again. You notice I took the guard off the KC-180. Yeah. The, uh, the pulley is, there is a guard for it, but I, I kind of smashed it by accident and it was pretty bad to a point where it wasn't even, I wasn't even able to really reshape it. And I've done that to a bunch of the pulley protectors, the pulley covers. I bend them and I just kind of hammer them back, put them on the vise and just knock them back into shape. All right, here we go, take two. Increase the flank. Do me a favor here, since I can't even lift a freaking gas can, can you bring one of those over for me, please? Just any one? Yeah, just pick one that has fuel in it. This is a six gallon tank. My fuel meter is blinking on me. <laughs> just, please, just go ahead and please put fuel in there for me. This I, I feel so helpless right now. This is ridiculous. I know the feeling. It's terrible. No, you don't even need that. Yeah, you have it all stopped. What are you going to do? Chainsaw. That's what I do anyway. Chains are cheap compared to cutters. True. It's very true. <laughs> I know it's true. Now, sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I get one of my friends in northern Maine to, to make to make these chains. I do all my sharpening by hand. I don't use any of those file guides or any of that crap. As long as my eyes are still good enough, and I still have to wear readers sometimes, I'll hand file them, and I look at every single chisel and I touch them up, and it's better, I, I turn them into something better than they were from the factory. All right, so we got eight bolts on this. Hopefully these are all captive. They better be. And these don't seem as tight as I'd want them, honestly. Very curious what's behind here. I already told Ventrac that I said manual or not, I said I'm taking some panels off today. Even the panel, this is pretty heavy gauge stuff here. Dang. Alright. Well. So again, we got the triple belt drive. No, it's a quadruple. I was gonna say, it looks like one three. three. This is a quadruple drive, holy moly. Whoa. All right, but there's no way to adjust this. I mean, this is just bolted in and it's here and, and look, okay, there's a tensioner in there. I think I can see it. 
about right here. So it could be this, this hardware right here that's... Now, the bigger question is, okay, now I gotta, I gotta get to that somehow. Ah, yeah, there's definitely a tensioner in there. So, you could probably get to it by removing this top panel. That's a lot of hardware to remove. <laughs> I just hope I just hope I don't have to do that too often. Yeah, I don't want to have to do this too often. I'll tell you what. Uh, so we got hardware on that end too. Uh, I imagine it's the same size. Let's see. This all one piece. You right here. All that off. I'm gonna take that off because that'll reveal the pulleys on this side. So the poor girls inside. I, of course, this stuff is larger. Yeah, why not? Oh, jeez. That's holding the plate. I don't know how to get in there. I, I think it's this big white one. So you can see down in. <sighs> that's an awful lot to go that's, through, man. That's bad. Well, do I really want to take that off right now? It's without the manual. I just don't know. I just don't know. We got so much going on here. This could be bolted to that or vice versa. All right, I'm not taking this end off yet. There's something going on here. I'm not sure what it is, but unfortunately, there's a nut on the other side I have to be able to get to to remove this plate. Yeah, okay. We'll save that for another video. Ventrac says they're gonna send me maybe probably tomorrow a parts breakdown sheet so I can at least see what's attached to what here. Okay, this might not be as bad as I'm thinking. Once I get that uh, parts breakdown and the maintenance manual, they're still in the final, they're still trying to finalize it. And they're going over a few drafts to make sure that everything's correct before they release it. They said they'd let me take a look at it tomorrow. I'll get a better idea of what I need to do uh, to take this thing apart and to do proper maintenance. So we're gonna continue the video uh, in another installment, followed up shortly.